Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Uh, here we are for another video. Uh, as I did like a couple of times, that's going to be a stand-up video. Stand-up meaning that I got to be standing up while uh, shooting this video. No more than that. Uh, I'm surrounded by some artwork from uh, Sid Dickens that I strongly suggest that you check. Uh, I think he's a Canadian. Uh, born and uh, yeah, I think he lives in Canada uh, and he does this beautiful, beautiful work that I absolutely adore. I have the most, I mean, I have some of those uh, all uh, around in my house. Uh, but I'm digressing. Uh, we were here to talk about this knife and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try to be less erratic uh, on this video and to uh, you know to part it. I would say in uh, three parts, okay? Three parts, but all in uh, the same video. First part would be probably the history about uh, this knife. Second part would be uh, the knife itself, the Spyderco Souther. And the third part would be uh, the uh, pimping job of Mr. Matt Christensen for uh, CK Knife Works. And that's also the guy that works for David Curtis and does all the anodization from the Curtis knives. So a little bit of history about this knife. So I got this knife and I sent him, uh, sent it, sorry, to Matt Christensen. It was like seven months ago. Yes, my friend, you heard me well. Seven months ago. Uh, there is no way in hell uh, for, <laughs> for a guy to keep a knife like that for a pimping job for seven months. No way in hell. You... Either you close your book or you, I mean, you organize yourself and you don't take a knife that you're going to take and you're going to keep for seven months like that. That is not a way, uh, in my opinion, uh, to do business. So Matt, my uh, first advice uh, as a customer, you know, uh, would be, you know, to for you uh, to deal with respect, you know, and uh, if ever you have a work to do, uh, do it on time. I mean, two, three months, four months, okay. Uh, after that, it becomes really uh, annoying for everyone and you lose the interest uh, for, uh, for the knife. I mean, you can wait for a custom knife maker for a year, a couple of years. Uh, they won't charge you for anything. Uh, and uh, I mean, you know that at the very first beginning, when you enter their books, you know that you're going to wait. But, you know, when you wait and you say, okay, next month's going to be good, next month's going to be good, uh, and also you have the lack of communication, uh, this is something that is really, really annoying for your customers. And you have to understand that I am not here alone in the desert. I'm speaking for a lot of people that have to deal either with you. Sometimes it, it has been the same also with, the, uh, with Wheel Moon. But believe me, uh, and take example of Will Moon, for example, that's nice. Uh, Will have improved his craft dramatically, and most of all, he improved his communication. Uh, now, uh, believe me, he is, I mean, I, I've dealt with Will uh, like uh, a year ago, and now, I mean, it's not even the same man uh, for the communication and for uh, the knives uh, and for his craft. So, Matt, I wish you, as you are a gifted guy, uh, for sure, I wish you uh, to, you know, become more communicative uh, with your customer uh, and more respectful. Uh, if you take a job, uh, just manage to, 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 to get it done uh, in a reasonable time, just reasonable time. So that was for the history uh, uh, about this knife. But at the end of the day, I'm very happy because I got a knife, you know, with some discrepancy, but uh, I've got a knife that overall I like. Now let's talk a little bit about this Spyderco Southerd. Spyderco Southerd was probably the first a flipper, I think was the first flipper from Spyderco, and man, did they hit the ball out of the park like big time. Uh, first of all, the the the, the knife it himself, itself uh, is a splendid knife. This curve on the handle makes, I love the curves on handle because they, I mean, they are so ergonomic when you have the knife in hand. It fits perfectly well in your hand. Here you have the flipper tab that makes for a very nice 
guard and the choil here is excellent for your index and all the three fingers are here on this curve i mean you have no hot spot whatsoever it is a, a, a pleasure to have a knife like that in hand the grip is excellent and the rock pattern that he did here makes for a very nice grip you are not annoyed by the the, the clip here uh, and the jimping uh, also gives you a nice traction so really 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 it is one of the most uh, uh, i mean the, the, the most easy knife to to carry and uh you, really you don't feel it you want to work with it you want to cut i mean when you have something like that in hand you want you want to play with it and to, to cut with it so really nice uh design in the handle and this blade shape is just excellent with this big curve this nice hollow grind here uh, that is a very very nice blade shape made to cut and that's an excellent excellent knife for edc no question about that so as i said first flipper uh, ever for spyderco and man uh i mean they they did a crazy job about that the detent is just excellent uh, and the smoothness uh, is comparable uh, sorry to say that, but uh, it's comparable to bodegas or other custom knives. Uh, believe me, it's I own them and I can compare, uh, and that's yeah, I, I, I'd say it com it's comparable. But not only it is a flipper, but also you have a very nice reachable hole here uh, that makes for a very very easy uh, opening with the the thumb so yes definitely definitely a great knife uh for edc for tactical use uh i just i i didn't know really because you know what i, I that's the first time that i hold a, a southern uh, in hands uh, actually i bought the knife uh from i don't know any purveyor and send it right to matt uh so he can do the the, the peeping job so i didn't have the, this knife in hand and that's the first time that i experienced it so i just received it so i can give you really a review about it but overall i'm sure that i will be happy uh, to hold uh, this knife and to carry this knife with me uh, on a regular day basis so enough said about the knife now let's talk a little bit about this pimping job that matt did uh the main job uh, is on the presentation side uh, with this beautiful scale and here my friend believe me i have nothing but good things to say uh, about this job look at this rock pattern is just excellent i just love those lines that goes randomly to any dear direction there uh, and all those shades that you have of blue purple red whatever you have a lot of coloring it's very rich uh, i know uh, and um, that my friend uh, uh, i wouldn't say it's a masterpiece but uh, you know that that was the, the the main job and he did it like perfectly well and for that i thank you you know what let's uh, address all the the the, the nice things that Matt did on this knife. So that was probably the, the, the best one. The second best thing that he did uh, is that uh, beautiful backspacer in titanium, a little bit oversized that goes over, uh, you know, the edges of the, of the handles. And I like that, really do, really do like that, like on the Pimp's Queen of, of Mr. Brian Blackwood and others. Uh, very very nice job very you know it's plain and uh, very neat love that love the presentation scale love the backspacer and my friend I absolutely adore the blade uh, Matt uh, congratulations my friend you uh, did an outstanding job look at that he gave me a sterile blade which is the thing that i prefer uh, on a knife and a dual tone blade which is also something that i really love to be able to 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 take advantage of a nice stone wash and a, and a nice setting is just great so you know let's start with the stone wash the stone wash is just excellent uh, period uh, i mean uh, it's pointless to talk uh, more about that uh, he did an excellent excellent job on the stone wash but the thing that i love the most probably is that you know the the, the setting uh, that he did here let me try to catch 
I don't know if I'm gonna yeah you see the lines goes up here they're not horizontal they goes up you know uh, they go up uh, and there are no micro scratches nothing the finish is just superb 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 and uh, again for that my friend I congratulate you because it is very very difficult to get a nice hand rub uh, like that uh, and that's a great achievement on that side and on the other side and you have to remember my friend that uh, he I mean it was a hassle for him for sure because there were those writings all over uh, uh, spider code the the the, um, the spidey which is uh, here from Taiwan so it was the 3d spidey you know so that that should have been a really a hassle to take that off uh, and to make this beautiful setting that you have here on the switch so yeah my friend uh, very 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 nice job on the blade now the complaint <laughs> i need to complain a little bit as i'm french as you know uh, the complaint would be as you can see this uh, this lock side uh, i wouldn't go as far as to say sloppy but look at that you have this scratch uh, here you have all the scratch over the lock bar stop here which just uh, a word it's uh, really nice in titanium also but you see why why i mean you you have you had the knife in hand for seven months and over uh matt why don't you just take some of your time and you know polish that uh thing uh the locks so uh, so it can be you know like you know perfect when i get the knife and you see over here at the lock bar stop how it is you have all those you know scratches all over you can see that you worked on that uh and that is something like annoying when you get a knife like that i i don't care you know to have some marks on the knife i use all my stuff my watches my knives my bike whatever uh but i want the, the traces to be to be mine i want to put all the, tra the traces on the on the knife so getting a knife like that you know from you uh compared to the other side is uh yeah really that that was that has to be uh, a complaint I, I couldn't pass on that uh, and not talk about that uh here are also some scratches anyway uh but the most uh, i would say you know uh, annoying thing would be the clip actually uh, it was to, supposed to be a, a custom clip a 3d clip and uh, it came with the regular clip which is a kind of stone wash it's not even satin um, yeah but you could have you know just keep the clip okay why not uh, it was not what i ordered but at the very least just make it satin you know to, to match probably the, the 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 satin flat here so yeah uh this is the discrepancy you know you have a perfect uh presentation side a perfect backspacer here a perfect blade and unfortunately here something less perfect but as i said overall uh, i am quite happy with this knife uh except probably also another point uh that is if you follow me on instagram you know that uh, if you you know i that was the third time in the same day that i had to tighten the pivot i even changed uh the position i'm not sure that i did right uh but uh you need to tighten it very very often otherwise uh, it would loosen and uh the blade would, would touch the scale on the right and you know it's probably almost starting uh to appear and i'm sure that if i do some flipping like let me see sometimes like that oh my always already feeling that it is going uh yeah it's gonna <laughs> go right but uh i'm gonna stop here with this video by saying that overall i'm happy uh, with the knife but uh there are some uh, discrepancy and some improvement that matt can do and uh i'm sure that in time uh if uh if he takes you know all these remarks uh and uh, that can help him to grow better i'm sure that he will become uh, a great guy and a great maker so i'm gonna stop here and i'll catch you very soon for another video bye bye my friends